really be vibing to my boy Rod Wave, man. Rod Wave, man. That boy. Something about his music, man. Just uplifts my spirits, bro. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I rock with you if you rock with me. It's your boy Gabos. You know the slogan by now, man. I ain't saying. We're on the road to 4K. Humbly. Humbly. We got another video, bro. Legion of Boom. Where y'all been at, bro? It seems like with all these rule changes to the NFL, like every year, it's like they're taking away more and more from the defense where you can't hold. No, nah, I mean, you can't play physical. You, when you, Whenever you play too physical, it's a holding penalty, as we saw with the previous Super Bowl, and that pretty much determined the outcome, the, the outcome of the game. Like, they take away from the glitz and the glam of playing defense. It used to be fun to play defense. And it's like, nowadays, it's like the NFL... Uh, the NFL has designed the game to, to promote offense, you know, touchdowns, high scoring games, plays. You want to protect your players. Obviously, you want to protect both players, both sides of the football. But one position is responsibility to, is to get this football past this white line. And on the other side, we got guys that are paid to prevent these guys from passing the white line with force. But apparently NFL wants these defensive players playing on eggshells. Guys can't bang no more. No more helmet to helmet. I mean, not, now you got to find a way to stop your momentum, even though if you're running full speed, to make sure you don't land on the quarterback. You can't hit him below the knees. You can't hit him above the neck. It's like, it's like every single time you look around, it's a new rule designed to to stop the defense from really being uh, their truest potential. So we got the Legion of Boom, one of the last defenses I could really remember that were like really them boys. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure Philly, if, Philly, if the Eagles had the Legion of Boom last Sunday, it, it's a completely different script. You had Earl, you had Sherman, you had Cam Chancellor, you know what I mean? Bobby Wag, if you had them boys, it would have been a completely different outcome. This is a real defense right here. The Legion of Boom, there's some boys, man. So we're going to get into this documentary presented by uh, Joseph Vincent. We're going to check it out, man. Uh, one of the, the last of a dying breed, son. First down for the don't like the defenses no more. Ball hawk. Young Earl. Young Earl. They were calling him a baby Ed Reed. I'm talking about all pros and at the back end. Crazy. Number 14 pick. Sherman played three seasons at wide receiver at Stanford before switching to defense. There were people that worked me out as a receiver. They said if I would have fell to like the sixth or seventh round, they would have took me out as a receiver. Disrespectful, bro. Now, but you want to talk about shutting down the right side? Richard Sherman shut that right side down all day, every day. Cam Chancellor, he is the enforcer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A hit like that is an assault charge. He thumps people. He's a big time hitter. You can't hit like that no more, bro. Ball hawk. Ball hawk. You mentioned the fact that he, it's almost like Batman and Robin, him and Cam Chancellor. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. What do you expect? What do you, when people come and see you guys play, what, what should they expect to see? Predominant force. Third and seven. <laughs> Oh, he actually had him beat. That, that pass was short. Don't matter. Cam Chancellor. And again, a nice defensive play by the rookie Sherman. Just a problem, bro. Coming in on Fitzpatrick. Good protection for Fitzpatrick. Who was that, too? What makes this ball hawk so special? So Earl Thomas gives him all kinds of abilities. He's a sideline, a sideline safety. Inside the 30, inside the 20. Bruh. Thomas has won the and what a run for the touchdown. And the boys already have 40. <coughs> Richard Sherman at first made himself a household name by attacking, remember this? Tom Brady after a game up in Seattle. I was mad about this pick so bad. Throwing the ball deep to Dion Branch. Cut it out. Sherman already gave Brady an earful back in 2012. Intercepted. Picked off once again. Earl Thomas for 
Seattle. Uh, I would describe my play as aggressive. You got a big man running around 6'3, 230. We talked to Cam Chancellor. He said, oh, this nothing to do with Cam Chancellor. To face a high powered offense. Boom! Big name yet. I think the secondary, we do have an identity. Bring that boom. Sherman tweeted a picture to Brady, adding the caption, you mad, bro? Well, well, that was a real fun day because a lot of us, you know, nationally, I guess, really didn't know who Richard Sherman was. Damn, that was Until 11 that years ago? Tired of it, or you accept it, you love it. Where are you guys with the, the whole Legion of Boom thing? We love that name. We protect that name. I don't think anything about the Legion of Boom. I go front. That name is hard. That, na that name is hard. Legion of Boom? L-O-B? Nah, that was hard. Whoever came up with that nickname, perfect name to... to I'm trying to make something immortalized. Yeah, immortalized. He is the best corner in the game today. You lived throughout the era of the Legion of Boom, which was a like five, five, six year window. Look at this. Violated the crap. Try me with a sorry ass receiver like Crabtree. That's the results you gonna get. Richard Sherman, to me, had just made the play of the year in the National Football That's League. when a defense carried an <laughs> offense, bro. Me with a star like, Crabtree, that's the result you gonna get. Like, we don't have that anymore in the NFL. Like, they try to make... Every team right now is looking for the next Mahomes, the next Jalen Hurts. You know what I mean? They, they want to cater their teams behind their quarterback's leadership and characteristics. But it's like, it always lacks toughness. These quarterbacks... It's cool, we get it. You're the face of the franchise. But let's not forget the other side of the football, bro. Let's not forget, let's not act like only the quarterbacks are allowed to have personality. Remember back in the day with Ray Lewis and them dogs? Patrick Willis and them dogs? Come on. Put the mic in front of a defender for once. This is what you're going to get. Don't you ever talk about me. Come on. This defense led this team to the championship. What you talking about? This is a real defense. Decimated simple, Peyton very, Manning, bro. You know, the, the best defense against the best offense. And they say defense wins championships, except if you're going against Peyton Manning. Uh-huh. Heard you. Ain't number a little bit of straightening. It's probably one of the worst Super Bowls of all time. I mean, it really depends on which side of which side of the metric you're on. But, like, a lot of people feel like it's one of the worst Super Bowls ever. I was here for it. In New York, so make sure you know or New Jersey. At all times. This first hit was a statement to Demaryius Thomas. You will not go up against this. <laughs> you will not cross the middle of this field, my boy. I don't care what Seattle throws at a kitchen sink. I don't think they can touch Peyton Manning. Do you see Cam Chancellor coming down in the slot and covering Wes Welker? I don't. I'm sorry. If Cam tries, Cam's going to have a long afternoon. Now third down and seven. They're Sound good. We are talking about Peyton Manning and the Broncos, the top scoring offense of all time. You talk about two years ago, this guy shut down the MVP of that Super Bowl. I mean, he's, he's a spark plug to the end. Back to the Baja. To the Baja. It's tangled able to take away tight ends, able to you know, play the run game. He's another linebacker. Brady. Oh, my God. He took work right out the game. Chancellor is there in Thomas. That is not a, uh, a sandwich you want to wind up You know, up that was just smash mouth trench warfare. Oh, my goodness. Larry got it. As too. long as you don't lose the game on the offensive side or special Larry team. Larry got it. Too. Uh, what you have in Cam Chancellor is a freak of nature. He did the same thing uh, to Megatron, too. Because the best corners hit picks. Who's got my back? 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 Who's got that swag? Who's got that swag? Touchdown, Seahawks! 
sound that they make when Cam Chancer tackles them to the ground. Like a, a antelope makes. Lion rips his, his throat. Brotherhood of Discord. Legion of Young Julio. Young Julio caught it too. In the end zone, touchdown Falcons. After that touchdown pass to a wide open Julio Jones, Richard Sherman really upset on the <laughs> Seattle sideline with his own teammate. I like guys that get ticked off about these kind of things. And this is after they discussed and it got heated. Football is family. The play fade. Ryan looks lost. Tipped up in the air. And it is intercepted. It is intercepted early. You'll see it on tap line. The ball is down. The kick is away. You can hear the cheers. The kick is good. And the Seahawks take the lead back. Oh, we just getting started. <coughs> we were just getting started, my boy. And this is what I be telling y'all, bro. Like, defense is not the same. They don't allow defenses to build like they used to. They don't allow defenses to, to really do their job against these guys. Like, I understand we want to protect these players, but the way the game has become so soft, play, it's like you got Juju Smith going on TikTok and taunting defenders. The Tiki Taka. You know what I'm saying? If they were able to hit him with that medicine during the during the game, son, he would not be on Twitter rubbing this, rubbing this Super Bowl win in their faces. They really don't let defenses conquer the game like they used to. And I feel like the Legion of Boom was the last of a dying breed, man. We can't forget about the greats. Like, that defense was elite. And, of course, during that time, you still had the Jets, and you still had the 49ers with Patrick Willis. You had the Jets with Revis. One you still had other teams, other components, too. But ain't nothing with such an Legion of Boom, bro. They went to two Super Bowls, arguably should have won both back-to-back. -back. You beat Peyton. I already knew you weren't going to beat Tom. It is what it is. But there's no shame in that, bro. Like, that, this should have been a dynasty, in my opinion. I don't know. It's just me. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I rock with you if you rock with me. You already know the vibe, man. Subscribe is the vibe. Your boy Gabos is consistent. And most importantly, I'm gone. My bow.